Hi, welcome. It's Kenny Russell, Bulldoze of Faith, Living Life in the Spirit. We're on the Planting Seeds of Light Tour, and we're in the UK. I get to speak with people, well, I was going to say nearly, that speak like me. Yeah. But this is Liverpool. Hey, man. There's yeah. no way you speak like me. We're not far off. You're from Liverpool. Uh, we're not English, we are Scouts. Yeah, say. that's right. English, that's what Scouse. I was thinking. Hey, yeah. You know, so it's amazing, you know, uh, being here. It's, it's like, you know, being in Israel when I'm hearing people speak Hebrew, you know. I, I don't understand what's going on. I walk down the streets here. I have no idea what they're saying. <laughs> no yeah. idea. So I just hope everyone here will be able to understand me tonight. Yeah, amen. But Steve, tell me a little bit about your walk and your journey. Um, there, there came a day where you made a decision. You're not going to follow in the ways of Sun Worship Day, Sunday Christianity. What brought the change and, and what are you involved in today? Yeah, um, well, oh, two years ago, I sort of, I got... Um, Reawakens it to just to, to the basic faith. I just I'd, I'd fell away from from walking. You know, uh -huh. I'd been a Christian for like twenty five years, but I'd had you know some issues that had made me uh, just fall out with the church. Right. And I went when outside of the church, when the Holy Spirit, you know, awakened me again. Within, I came straight into uh, the teachings of Michael Hughes, and that's what right. caught my attention. And was like, I've never heard nothing like this before. This Excellent. is this is completely different than I've ever heard. And then just starting to look at the basics of the faith, like we were talking before, the three days and three nights that Yeshua right. talked about. Right. Just being able to see that we have been fed a lie. You know, and if, like what, you know, we love to talk about this scripture from Jeremiah when it says that the Gentiles will come at the end days and say to God, we've been fed a lie. Right. We've been edited lies. And so it's not so much anyone's decision. This is a, a real move of the Holy Spirit. Hey man, it's, it's just this. Definitely, it's definitely, you know, it's definitely it's time, isn't it? Yeah. Now, you've seen a lot of growth here. Do you see a lot of new people that are interested in stepping out of what we would class as the normal way? Because really, you haven't left Yeshua behind. You still oh, have yeah. Yeshua very much in your heart. Do you find the life of the Spirit is more alive as you're Absolutely. following Torah? Taking the Torah series, but what we do is on our, we meet on a Shabbat on a Friday night and welcome the Shabbat in, if you will. Amen. And we, we do the Torah portion just for something so we can all study together. And taking that seriously <coughs> has made me now take the words of Yeshua seriously. <laughs> you know, when he says, ask, now I, I ask and I believe, just <laughs> simple yeah, things. Yeah, you know, that is a very important point, what you said. It says in the scripture, you do not have because you do not ask. Yeah. How many people go through the motions of their Christian experience, but they don't ask, they're not inquiring of him. Yeah. But do you feel that more people are, are seekers of truth today? You think that's what's bringing the change, that they desire the truth? I know the people that I fellowship with, there's a deeper desire for truth in us. And I know Amen. that, that it, I know it is a move of the Spirit. So really, you know, it feels, and I mean this, it feels like we're back in Galilee to me. I feel like I'm Amen. on tour with Yeshua. I feel Hallelujah. like I know the places he went to. I know what he said there. I know what he did there. Mm -hmm. And I never used to be like that. It used to be a weird, I don't know, like a Disney World sort of story right, right. or something. Now it's like, I know he it's actually did and said what he said he did. Um, and now it gives you the faith to think, yeah. it's not hard this. And now I feel like I can be a disciple. Hey man, <laughs> yeah. that is awesome. <laughs> That is exciting. You know, it's great to be with you here, Steve, and just to capture what the Father is doing. Uh, as we're traveling the country, one, one thing I want to tell you, just all the different places we've been to, we are definitely seeing that there Amen. is a supernatural change that's taking place yeah. in this Amen. land. Amen. And, uh, you know, we're going to stand and pray for what's happening here in the UK, and it's exciting. Yeah, it is. What's happening Amen. here. So thanks, thanks for sharing, Kenny. Steve. Thank Amen. you. Amen. Okay. Hallelujah.